So doing a quick update on my moss garden. The two pictures you see are the configuration I keep the gardens in when they're outside. It helps to keep the uh, squirrels out of the garden um, in the mornings and also at nighttime. The possums and the raccoons, they just, they won't bother with it. Uh, when I had it set up differently, they would constantly go in there digging around for whatever critters they could find. Uh, right now what I'm doing is looking for any uh, weeds. I don't like uh, clovers and other things to grow in. I used to get a lot of grasses growing in. Grass has stopped growing right here. I'm just pulling out a um, another little clover. Um, because I keep a lot of maintenance done on this moss garden I, I I don't have any problems anymore um, early on it was every day I had to constantly be weeding now maybe once every two weeks um, and and all three of my gardens that I have they are flourishing now if you look in the upper left hand corner you can see uh, it's the cuttings of uh, King's Gold False Cypress. Can, uh, those have rooted. They've been in there now, I would say, a month or more. And I checked them, and they all, all of the cuttings I have in there have roots. The green cutting you see, the green leaf cutting you see there, that's a sycamore maple. So this is my next uh, moss garden. The difference in color you see from left to right is just shade because this, I have this, I keep this in the shade and the sunlight is on the left side. Here I'm just giving it a quick water. And as you can see, um, there isn't a lot of weeds in here at all. And the color is nice. Some places you've got a little browning, but for the most part, I would say 90, 98% of it is lush and green, but to see them, the video doesn't really do them any, any justice, excuse my hand there, uh, the video doesn't really do them any justice, these moss gardens, you have to, you have to see them for yourself, um, but they just, they just look great. I, I do have a favorite, uh, and I'm saving my favorite one for last. I use this toothbrush uh, strictly for the garden where I make sure there isn't a lot of uh, debris because um, when it rains, I uncover them and I leave them out so that the rain can get in there and water them naturally. Other than that, I use, uh, I'll sometimes put a little food in distilled water and water them that way or if I only have spring water I use that and I sometimes will use dechlorinated tap water but other than that they've been doing great so this is my third and final garden see I, I put a little house in there and the moss has developed like this big hill you see here you have to, you would really need to see it and as you see there's there's really not a lot of weeds in here so I came in with a quick spray if you see in the background you see that pinkish color so when I developed this particular garden what I did is I laid down a mix of azomite um, pumice the bottom of the bag grit from uh, pumice that is some, I guess you would call uh, lava rock, just a little bit, but one of the ingredients in this, in this moss garden is kitty litter. And I mean, the moss just loves it. Like if I ever have a piece of moss that's browned and it needs to, and it needs to get some life back into it, all I have to do is stick it in here and it comes back to life really quick. But I'll just finish up here. I'll give you a overhead shot so you can see what it uh, looks like looking down. That's pretty much it. That brown discoloration, some mud trip 
in there, but other than that, that's it.